Well, hello there. Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. It's me, Asher Gamer. And, uh, I don't have a horrible need to cough constantly anymore, which is half the battle. So, if you see over here, I have a lovely new house. I do believe... Manage? This is my house, with my new wife lady, uh, Batilda, who is... Apparently three years older than I am. Oh, wow. There you go. Not bad. Hmm. 15 bucks for just this? Oh, okay. So I'm looking through. What I've got is kind of an extra house going on. So what I want to do is I want to eventually sort of... Um, I don't know what the word would be. Uh, I really want to just sort of move people around to better ones, kind of start taking the older ones that aren't being used and make them into uh, stone houses to up everybody's mood. But other than that, we've hit summer. We've got summer. Whoop. Let's see here. My wheat is there. I cannot... I miss spring, so I can't do any flax seeds right now. Because I'm a genius. But, I got me lots of berries. Yeah, man. So, what to do today? I got married last time, which was exciting. I got married, and I think... Yeah! If you look in the, if you look in the uh, top right over there, you'll see it says, Carpenter's Delight, place five furniture. That would be the quest my wife gave me. Your well, the you know fake wife. Uh, fake wife gives you quests, and there she is right there. And those are my chickies, two females and a male. What's up, my chickies? Let's take a look. Trough is pretty full, but the problem is, bless her heart, she will in fact try to dance all over the chickens. Which happens, and I'm not going to judge, but it is what it is. So, let's keep going. Well, that was exciting. I've got a forge over here. I've got an extraction shed over here, which I am hoping to get some more work from. Let's see. Do I have a Rasmir shirt on? Yeah. Need to start trying to see if I can get a sewing house so I can get things done there. We've got to make some furniture, man. We can't just sit around doing nothing. We gotta make furniture. Skills. Technology. I got oh I got a sitting stump. How much money do I have? I wanna make a sitting oh, not enough coins. I am not gonna make a sitting stump. I'm gonna go around and try to find some cash and stuff like that. So that making a sitting stump will not be a bad idea. It's time to go adventuring. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Got that. Want to go and get some ore. Got my bow. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting that there are now a ton of bandits around. And while my cute little town may be safe from bandits, I am not. And last time, I nearly got killed by the cheese bandits, if you remember. I was attacked by bandits who were smuggling cheese in. And that was a bit too much for my poor heart. So let's... Hmm. Oh no, I don't need that. I need those right here. Let's go over here. I need a cudgel. Do I have a cudgel there? Alright, I want some ore so I can build some more stuff. And I want my Iron Spike Cudgel, because, yeah, I do. All right. Do I have, I got 35 stone arrows. I am set to go. Also, I have to hunt a moose, a wizent, and a bear. So a moose, that's gonna be easy. That's just gonna be down this way, actually. I'm we'll probably get a moose before I get too far away. The wizent is going to scare the hell out of me, because they're giant bison. Which, 
I don't know why there are giant bison in this game. Lady Asher, my lovely wife, asked me, Is that a bison? And the answer I gave her was, Yeah, I guess. It's a bison in the middle of nowhere. Speaking of the middle of nowhere, I wonder if I can find some of them sweet, sweet camps. Not necessarily bandit camps, but camps know the less. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh. Ah, dear. Looking for that camp again. Oh, excuse me, dear. I want to kill you, but I can't kill you. Well, I can, but I'm not going to. That's just rock. Hmm. Where is the camp that I remember seeing? I don't know if they just changed it or what's going on, but ow. Hmm. Did I move, or did the camp move? Hard to tell these days. <laughs> oh, piggy. I don't know, man. I'm getting off the subject. I'm getting off track, and that's not good to start with. It's the first, not even ten minutes of my game. And I'm already off track. I don't know what's going on. I needs me some goodies so I can get started on this stuff. I can get these things going. I need to get at least 250 bucks, and then I can start making stumps like a man. Or person, really. I don't know. Stumps look pretty easy. <laughs> and if we see a moose, so much the better. Hunting moose. Moose hunting. Yep. It's the kind of quality content you come to expect from this place. I'm looking for anything. I can check around the lake. That usually has some cool stuff. I just want to know where that stupid... Oh. Camp is. Hmm. Here's the water. Also, I can't tell. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Iron ore, useful. Stone. Another cudgel. Seriously, I kind of wish that you could have little bandit battles, because I've got enough cudgels to take out some people, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, water. I can't tell if... I think this is in the evening. This is not my best move. Let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> We're going up this way. We're going to try to go up the lake, go around the lake, do a quick run around, see if there's any goodies around there. Like, you know, all this great stone and iron ore I picked up. Iron ore, sorry. Words are hard. We got married. Look at us. It only took me nine episodes on my YouTube channel. To get this far. But I married a pragmatic character. Or Rasimir did. Berries, berries. It's a lot of berries. Let's 
Let's keep going the way we're supposed to be going. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. Yep, going to go around this big old lake area over here. Do I have anything cool? Besides berries? Oh, I got pottage, man. Nope, that's about it. This should be fun. Hmm. Birds. Villagers. The question becomes, does it get any more exciting than this? And the answer is a resounding no. This is the height and epitome of medieval dynasty. Except when I am attacked by wizens and bears and all the wolves. Got my tracker on. Ooh, I found a new animal spot. Good for me. More deer. Duh. All right, let's begin the long search around. I think I got enough sticks to make a... Oh, cart. Not enough sticks to make a cart, but... Awesome. Empty container. Said to myself, I really hope this is a wild goose chase. Who are these people that keep losing all these carts, man? All my fishing spears are at home. I know I need to do that, but all my fishing spears are at home. If I could, I'd like to say thanks to all my new followers on Twitch, uh, Amal and Waterdrac. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you enjoy the content. And for those of you on YouTube who are watching, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like what you see, give a like. Otherwise, thank you so much for stopping by. It is always kind to receive really nice feedback, whether I'm doing something right or doing something wrong. <clears throat> and there goes the clearing of the throat. Seriously, it's going to become like a staple of my channel. Okay. It's a rock. Hmm. All right, we're just going to sleep till the next day. Uh, I don't have any... I don't have any wooden hammers. I'll just keep that there. Whoa! Now I can see a hell of a lot better. All right. We got to move quick because we don't have that many days to make stumps, if you know what I'm saying. I think you do. Let's go down this way, see what we can find. Goal is to make stumps before the end of the season so that our wife does not get mad at us. Rabbit, perch, these are all good things, which means that I haven't been around this area yet. Which means there could be all sorts of wonderful goodies hidden around. I don't know. Mostly they're along the roads, but sometimes out here you'll see a big old shovel stuck in the ground and then a treasure chest full of uh, treasure for, uh-oh, 
lack of a better word. Wolves and ducks. I don't know which one I'm more scared of, the wolves or the ducks. I wish they gave you a treasure sense. The only other game that had random things just stuck everywhere like this was Kingdom Come Deliverance. But once you knew like where a couple of them were, you could start the game and like get a massively good armor set or some kind of weapon in like no time flat. Here, however, it changes every season. Some of them just randomly pop up and you never know what you're going to get or how much is going to be in it. Like when I took out those bandits, oh my goodness, I was laughing my butt off because all the bandits had like wheels of cheese on them. And when I saw contraband, I opened up the contraband, it was, and I'm quoting here, lettuce. Or cabbage, I'm sorry, there's no lettuce here. Ooh, flower's nice. Straw hat's worth money. And an iron sickle, that is all I really needed. Wonderful. That's about it, man. Now everything else is just gravy. That iron sickle is going to sell real good. That is a weird, creepy sound. Speaking of weird, creepy sounds, if you, like myself, enjoy creepy things, ghost stories and crap like that, which I am a huge fan of, just massive fan of, uh, one of my students turned me on to this podcast that has been around for a while and is probably extremely popular. And I am, once again, extremely late to the party on this. But the best thing about being late to parties on these things is that there's a huge amount of content you can get through. Like, uh, I didn't know about um, uh, the Adventure Zone until it was on, like, Season 4 or something like that. When it just started the Amnesty Cycle, and I was like, ah, that's awesome. And then, um, what was it? You know, all this other stuff. But right now, I have... Uh, Okay. I have found the Magnus Archives, which is apparently so popular it's going to become an RPG system, which I'm probably going to back along with Shadow Dark, neither of which have, you know, in any way endorsed me at all and have no idea of my existence. But. I like them both and wanted to share them with you guys, so. I went through three Magnus Archive uh, episodes before I started streaming, and oh my goodness. A part of me was just like, I think I'm going to stay here. I don't know, hell, I was almost about just playing, but you know, you can't do that on Twitch or YouTube, that'd be bad. But I'm telling you, they are phenomenal. And if you already knew about them, then good for you, man. I'd love to learn more about that kind of stuff. I love that stuff. Probably going to listen to a couple more after I'm done with this. It's that level of good. A student looked at me and was like, Mr. Asher, do you know about H.P. Lovecraft? And it's like, oh, teenager. They do that with this wonderful kind of wide-eyed stare of like, they don't believe that other... They, that's why they don't know, believe it, but like... it's They're trying out this whole, I think I found something completely new. And you're like... Oh, no, nah, kid. That's like... Super... Ever, but but they're, they're so excited to, to share this stuff with you. So you don't want to say no or anything like that. So I, I didn't. I, I was super proud of them and told them it was going to be... You know, I'd definitely check it out. And I was super excited about this. So I am. And I am so glad they turned me on to this thing. The Magnus Archive so far, after three episodes, has been... Amazing, and I can't wait to see where else it goes. <sighs> Nothing. The iron sickle is going to be good. Don't get me wrong. The iron sickle is going to be good. It's going to be what about 180? And I can make some more. 
Am I missing some? What am I doing? I wonder if there's another mine around here. So I can get started mining some more stuff. I mean, the worst thing... Oh, ha, ha. The worst they can do is turn me around and say, I shouldn't leave the valley. It's my home now. Well, hello, Wheat. Will Wheaton. Alright, Wheat. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. The hell was that? Oh, Fox. Nope, I don't believe there is any mine over this way. Nor is there a bandit camp. <laughs> it always displaces me. It's like, ah, this is my home now. But I'll take all the berries you have. Oh, speaking of which, what time is it? It's pottage time. What time is it? It's pottage time. It's pottage. What's for lunch? Just sitting here eating my pottage. Chomping down on all the berries. Ugh. After a while, wouldn't you get sick of berries? Who knows? It's about... Yeah, I'm about to hit Rolnica, so no big deal. I'm going to sell this stuff at Rolnica, get some more cash, and move on from there. Uh-oh. Hold on. Management. Look at that, though. I got this really cool... Um... No resources. Oh, yeah. No assignments. No animal. In the hen house? Uh, technically true, because there's no chickens in there. No resources in the smithy. Yep, once again. I'm still working on that management stuff. Once again, if you've got any suggestions, leave them in a comment. I really do appreciate it. I don't know what I'm doing 100% of the time. That's about as far as I've gotten. Wait, where the hell am I? Almost to roll, Nico. Mm -mm. Let's see here. <clears throat> really trying hard not to do the throat clearing, and I do appreciate you guys coming with me on this, but we're back to streaming at night and recording at night so that we don't have daughters in the background. Who are beautiful, wonderful. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Nope. There we go. Oh. Hi, traveler. <laughs> Gonna light you up, girl. Uh, hey, show me your wares. Here. Yeah? I got a cudgel. Oh, I got an iron sickle for 207. Oof, that's good stuff. Nope, gotta keep that potion of sobriety. Iron ore for 28 bucks. Wheat. All right. Have a good day. I will. Thank you. We've got 316 bucks. So I can get. I want to buy some fertilizer, but I can get the stump and put five stumps around my village. But before I do that, I'm going to make some more money by getting some ore, smelting that ore, and... Oh, I don't know. Killing a pigeon. Whoa. Pigeon. Effluence with wings. I have never been pigeon hunting, but I imagine it is odd. 
I don't know. Do 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 Rasimir. Running around doing Rasimir stuff. Can't wait till autumn. Alright, now I know. Over by Branica there is a mine. And I am going the wrong way. <sighs> oh Tenchi <laughs> Tenchi you uh you've shot clay pigeons before you say? What is that like? Oh about to shoot a deer. It was a bit gory also. You say it was gory? It, you're absolutely correct. That was a fairly gory situation. Sorry, I was so distracted trying to figure out where the hell I was going because I'm very, 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 very lost. Oh, wait, I'm not lost anymore. But you get the idea. Not the smartest. Oh, yes, recoil. Recoil is bad on shotguns and such. And rifles and whatnot. But I'm going to tell you this. There, Seriously, did I just... Oh, Lord. Uh, Recoil's not too bad on a bow, except I do love the fact that Kingdom Come Deliverance makes sure you have to have van braces. But this one as well. Like, you get better and better with a bow. It'd be nicer if you could, like, gain more skill with a bow and the cudgel. Uh, I know you weren't here for the last time, Tenchi. You would have laughed your butt off. I found a bunch of bandits, beat them to death, and shot them with arrows, and then found that they were all carrying giant wheels of cheese. And, um... Uh, not just carrying giant wheels of cheese. Ooh, right in the... Right in the rabbit butt. Um... But, uh... What was it? Um, what was it? What was I talking about? Oh, I... Oh. Well, anyway. So we had... What could only be described as... Iron Spike Cudgel. Oh, come on now. Ow! I don't like you! Hit you in the face! Coin? I know you're probably sitting there thinking, Asher, what the hell are you doing? And the answer is, getting apples from dead bandits. What are you doing? And onions. The onion bandits. Cheese bandits and onion bandits. It's like a weird plate. Where are you? Oh, you, your friends were killed and you're just like, yeah, go back here. Whoa. Whoa. Ha ha! Ooh. <laughs> Someone's got what do they call those? A crossbow. Oh crap! Whoa! Eh, boom! Uh oh! Whoa! Oh please let me have his crossbow. Oh please let me have his crossbow. That just sounds so much fun. That whew, sounds. <gasps> I'm going to take my stone arrow. Well, hello. Go oh, it's 13%. Jeez. It's all about the cheese and cudgels and roasted meat and wooden bolts. Oh. I mean, it'd be a shame not to use it, right? What am I doing? Wooden bolt. Wooden crossbow for a hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, I mean, I mean, oh, that's 
swear, the wooden crossbow does not load very fast, but it looks... It looks like something you get at the Ren Fest for like a kid. Thank you, Tenchi. Thank you for coming along with me. Anyway, so they have all this cheese. They have all this cheese. That's what it was. They have all this cheese. And you're like, oh, I was like, yeah, great. I'm glad you remembered. Anyway, cheese. Lots of it. They have it. They have it. And it just... It struck me as so much fun. I think I'm going to do something like that with the next D&D campaign. Just sort of... I don't know. Just have like a weird esoteric fun thing like that. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, look at this. I've got a wooden crossbow, which looks as wooden of a crossbow as humanly possible. Don't want to go to Tootkey. Want to go this way. It was struck me as those... I didn't know why those guys were standing around. It's like, that's not normal. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I am a two-year-old. <laughs> I wish you could go somewhere and have someone repair this stuff. Or if I could break it apart and, like, learn more. I wonder if this is their bandit camp. That's head cannon for you. Oh, a big bag. Salt. Salted fish meat. Salted meat. I found... <laughs> ready for this? These bandits were... <laughs> assaulting thing. Poison. Whoa. Dumped loot. Ah, oh, carrot. I wonder if these guys are somewhere nearby. Guess a small wicker basket. My god, these are fish bandits? I think it's supposed to be just a fisher camp. Fisher camp with fish bandits? That's the dumbest thing I've said all night. And I have said some dumb th another cudgel! I have a I have a cudgel collection. A cudgelection, if you will. Ooh. Fur... Five fur boots and thick leather gloves. Oh, gracious. Aha. An iron axe. Can I just take that stool with me? Can I just take that stool with me? Alright, that was... Awesome. All right. I know there are probably people that are just like chomping at the bit for me to actually get some flipping better stuff, but I don't have any money to... Well, I do have money now, but nothing to really get bronze and copper and stuff with. Well, copper I have. Wow, I'm just sort of contradicting everything I say. I love this. I love this crossbow. I love this crossbow so much. Someone was missing a foot. Yeah? Oh, yeah, it's five. Well, it's, I think it's five pairs. I'm just going to go with it. It's five boots. And one guy was just, it's peg leg Pete. This is a bunch of, like, salty fishermen and such like that, so. Yeah. Hmm. It's never comforting. I'm taking this firewood. Sounds foolish, but I should have grabbed the other firewood, but I didn't. Because winter will be coming at some point. And, uh... They'll need lots of firewood. All these nine million people I now have amongst my... Um... <laughs> amongst my... My citizenry. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I took a muscle relaxant because I was getting a tension headache, and oh my god, it feels so much better. 
Is that my village? Yeah, it's my village over there. I can see my house from here. Yeah, I can see my house from here. And I can see that I have missed Branica. Gonna go back up this way. God, I love this game. This is a good game. Oh, clay stuff. I need more clay for that waddle and daub, yo. I do have extractors, so it should be getting... Oh, excuse me. Should be getting me some stuff. Distances are deceptive on the map, is all I'm saying. It's like, it seems like it's not that far away, but then it's like this 20-minute walk. It's been 40 minutes on this stream. I've killed some bandits and gotten a wooden crossbow, and I'm probably going to sell it. Did somebody just yell no when I said I was going to sell my crossbow? Okay. Just bandits coming back from the war. And I shot him. That wooden crossbow. I should probably put that away. Hi, everybody. Jumping on in from the back. Hi. I'm going to kill you with my crossbow. How y'all doing? Oh, sorry. Uh, ooh, you buy stuff. A newcomer. My wares never disappoint. Girl, I know it. Iron Axe, 233. Fishing spear. Ooh, cudgel. Cudgel. Fishing spear. Fishing spear. Simple torch, simple torch. Oh. 12.6. Eh, it's not worth selling. It's really not. This bucket's not very good. Bag's worth a lot, though. <clears throat> oh, for 117, I'm not going to keep it. You, madam, do you want my cheese? My 73.4% good cheese? My apples, which are acceptable? My onions? Would you like some poison? Can I offer you some poison? No? Okay. Does that smell like chloroform to you? Beer bottle. Mead bottle. Wine bottle. Awesome. That's over a... Th Farewell, Sing. sweetie. Alright, that is 100%. Now it's time to get some metal, yo. And I think it's just... Yeah, it's right over, right over here. So we're going to go this way. We're going to get some heavy metal. And then we're going to go back home and do homey things. I got to tell you, Tenji, you're one of the best people to have on the stream. Just, you make me feel better about my terrible jokes. And I appreciate that very much. I like my flat hat. All right. Hmm. Copper. 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 You get the idea. Copper! What's up, Taco? You're carrying too much. You're carrying too much. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was inappropriate. Come on. I don't need rocks. 
Or stones, sorry. I'm going to drop all 28 stone. But I'm keeping that salt. Tin. Ooh, I'm going to take a little bit of tin. Huh. Hey, uh. Copper. 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 A little bit more tin. A little bit more blood, yes. Broken torch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've gotten a torch in my slot. I said it. I don't care. I dropped 28 stone. What's my secret? Says ten, says it's Taco. And the answer is, oh, you know, pressing X, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. I think you do. Well, I have about 69 kilograms. Nice. Uh, and I think I've got a perfect number of each. That's going to be good. That's 14. That's 14. A little bit more. Now it is time to go. Oh, whoa. Got to reload it every time you pop it back up because that actually makes sense and is not stupid. I just, I don't know. I want it to be like those magical crossbows that like you can just walk around. Like in Bannerlord, my crossbow is always at the ready, if you know what I'm saying. Wink, wink. Anyway, you get the idea. Or in Skyrim. Also, yes. Uh, we are using... We're using... Wait, hold on. Is... Is stone metric? If I say it's stone, like 15 stone or something like that, is that metric? Or is that, like, a different form of traditional imperial? Because I know it's, like, kilos. But stone, that's just basically... I said kilograms? Good for me. <clears throat> Good for me being accurate. Accurate? I guess. I'm going to sell that small wicker basket. Oh, this is great. I love this. And it's summer, so we don't need that much money for taxes, which is going to be huge this year because I've added a bunch of buildings. Oh, you sell things. Hello, Hello Norbert. There. My wares never disappoint. Wow. Selling that because I can. Fur boots. I forgot about the fur boots. 691 bucks for fur boots. And a uh, straw hat and thick leather gloves, which I already contain and have at home. This man has no money left. Well, I forgot that I had a butt ton of, bo See, of boots. All right. Oh, well, there you go. You. Oh, sorry. You. No. No. I don't know what your deal Greetings is. Greetings, Only the best products here. Oh. You. Ranger. See you soon. Wow, she sounds angry. Dalamir, you are not. None of you are any good. Sorry. Greetings, you. Stranger. Can I help you with something, Otto? I'm expanding my fields with a lot of trees in here. Can you get some down for me? Hell yeah, I can. Because not only are you going to do that for me, but. Oh. <laughs> I almost grabbed the poison. Who the hell's heating up fish? Sorry. So I'm not going to take the stumps. I'm just going to cut them down. Man, it's one to cut down ten trees. I mean, I might keep a couple. I mean, I just, I, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta, you know, uh, make a deal with them. Anyway. 
death to trees. Whiff. It's a giant tree, and only I, Asher Gamer, can truly whiff a tree that badly. And if you saw my rolls on any D&D game I'm a part of, you'd be like, no, that, that, that checks out. Ugh, wasteful. All this waste. Well, I know what I'll do. I, oh. I'll make a wooden shovel. There you go. Log. Uh, log. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Wonder if I just keep a tree stump in my No, I have to have the eight stick fifteen. Hold on. Journal. New fields. I got five out of ten done. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's a stone. Peasant senses activate. There's a stone. Mm, mm, gonna get stone axe. Probably should move on to copper now. I think it's about time I move on to copper. I really do. There's some woodpecker and beaver going, what the hell is wrong with this guy? I'm the bad chopper. Taking that log. Run for now, crows. I'm gonna pass out. Hell yeah. Everybody now believes I'm a better person for having chopped down a bunch of trees. Good for me. Carpenter's the light. Now check this out. I could I could try to go home. Uh, home using like the fast travel system, but holy crap, it's expensive. <clears throat> Watch. Hail, friend. I need a ride. Three, uh, two hundred and fifty bucks to Gustovia. I think you actually just get in the back. It's like Skyrim rules. You literally sit in the back and they just walk you. Uh, there you go. Wooden hammer. All right. Oh, for torch. Ah. Well, now I'm scared. Do do do. Travel is supposed to be free, says Tenchi. That's true. Not here. This frickin' place costs unbelievable amounts of money. I mean, like a stupid amount of money. Okay, normally I'd be less cavalier about all this, but there's a lot of bandit activity recently. And, you know, they tried to kill me. That Iron Spike cudgel just whacked the guy once and it was gone. Let's see here. Do we have any... Straw? There we go. Found a sweet fishing spot. 
Oh, for the love of I love how it just automatically, like, equips the torch. That's a good deal. Hmm. Should I keep doing this stupid thing? Yeah, I'm almost home. I'm almost home. What are the odds that there's bandits around every bridge? Famous last words. Alright, I got a butt ton of money. Let's go home and make my wife happy. I just heard how that sounded and I retract the statement. Honey, what'd you pick up? Nothing. Nothing. Deadly nightshade. Did you bring enough for everybody? Yeah. Ah, my stars. Hops, what's up? Do I have trees now? I mean, I have trees, but do I have fruit? Oh wait, what? I have fruit! I can make cherry pie. I've got cherry pie. This puts a smile on my face at, at least 10 miles wide. Plums? Do I have plums? It's only been two years, this is great! Well, let's see what it tastes like, he said about the pixels. It's a lot of cherries, man. It's about to eat. I want everyone to know, I was a that close to eating. Oh, that's the Deadly Nightshade. Probably gonna need to put the poison in the deadly nightshade shade away from. Did you bring enough deadly nightshade for the whole class? Yes, ma'am. All right, so I no longer live in my cute little abode with the nice little. Um, what's that called? Uh, garden. Although I am gonna build another garden behind this one. What's up, baby? Sleep next day. I am a filthy peasant and I love it. Filthing it up, peasants. What up? You bastards chickens yet? Oh. Jumping randomly. All right, food storage. We have berries. We shall put them in there. We have cherry. We put them in there. Okay, but deadly nightshade. That is resource storage. Miat, onions. Not poison. Salted meat. Good. Flower goes in resource storage. Okay, good to know, good to know, good to know. <laughs> ah, Taco and Tenchi, just watching your silliness is great. Ten bar. We're going to make four ten bars. So, fourteen. I guess. Oh, and there's 14 copper bars. Oh, yeah. Gonna pump that bellows. I don't want to make bronze right now. I don't need that. Let's see here. Craft. Uh, copper tools. 
I want a copper hammer. That is so much better than a wooden hammer, it's not even funny. Hmm. I think I've got a copper hoe. And now I'm going to get a copper sickle. Don't let me forget, though. <laughs> copper knife. Kind of just making myself a whole set of copper implements for with which to do coppery things with. Copper axe. Dun, dun. Oh, yeah. Uh, I need another log for a copper hoe. I said it. Hold on. Copper weapon, spear, bolt. I do love me some bolts. But I do mostly have an arrow. I need sticks. Where can I find sticks? Oh, look, sticks. Oh, look, sticks. Oh, look, more sticks. If I'm going to hunt these bigger things. <laughs> one hit. Boom. One hit wonder. Bronze tools. I don't even have the technology for it yet. Can't get that far. All right, so let's check this out. I got a copper knife. I got a copper hammer that I'm going to use in place of my regular one. I got a copper axe, which I'm going to put there. I'm going to get a copper sickle, which I've already got. Iron spike cudgel, which I'm keeping with me. Let's see here. I don't remember there being a copper pickaxe. Do you guys? I don't think there was a copper pickaxe. No, there's not a copper pickaxe. Hmm. Hmm. Casimir, my man. Longbow, 500. Recurve bow, very nice. But, okay. Hold on. How does one get a crossbow? I am interested in creating a crossbow. Wooden weapons. Not enough technology for a wooden crossbow. On that. Oh, I do love cudgels. Duh. Stone tools. Stone weapons. All right, uh, can't get, can't get recurve bow. Oh, Taco shot a recurve bow over the weekend. Oh, well, that is not what I was hoping for. Let's see here. Hmm. All right. Put this stuff over here in the resource bin, if you know what I'm saying, and I think you do. Slapped your wrist, slapped your wrist and bruised you. Oh man. Well, at least you shot a recurve bow, and it's like you got that cool thing going. Let's see here. Copper sickle. Iron spike cudgel. Stone axe. Stone knife. Stone pickaxe. Uh, wooden crossbow, wooden bolt, wooden hammer, wooden shovel. All right. Let's go get a drink. Then probably, oh no, wash first. Wash first. And instruct him on how to ice it. Ay! Well, that's a no good. I've got some copper. <laughs> She's jumping on my chicks. 
Crush them, Batilda, my love. Crush them. Mwahaha. Copper arrow. I need feathers and sticks, huh? Psh, watch me. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Furniture. Wow, I am... I Once again, how do you distract an asher? You simply let him do his thing. Let's go with 20 of those. Let's go stick, 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 stick. Hold on. Flower. Boom. Firewood. Boom. I was just about to put a feather in there. Fur. Boom. Iron ore. Boom. Oh, God. Thank God I'm pretty. Because I'm not that smart. Wheat. Resource, res resource storage. Wooden plate. Oh, let's see here. Stick. Stick. Da, 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 da. 19. There we go. That feels like we should have enough for just about anything. <coughs> Chicken dance. Da, 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 Step on the chicks. Do, 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 do. I left that stump because I want that stump to grow back. Oh, for the love of God. I need two copper bars. Excuse me. Bonjour. Do I have any copper bars? No, but I got copper ore. Good for me. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to put that in there, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there, and we're done with this crap. Ah, small wicker basket. Forgot about the small one. They forgot about Dre. All right. Let's look at our technology. Resource. Stone flower pot. Let's see here. Log stool for 500. Log table. Log bench for 500. I'm going to get the log bench. Open curtain for $500. Wooden shelf. Bad thing. Log table. Let's, uh, I got 1100 left. I was gonna do a sitting stump. Hmm. Standing torch. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Oh, wow. Crap. Need thread and fabric. Not a bad idea, just dang. Batten wooden door. Hmm. Well, hell, let's just do some wooden shelves and see what we can do. Hey, I want to free up this workstation if you don't mind. Oh, I don't have it. I am so sorry I've bothered you. Yikes. Alright, let's uh let's cut stuff with a nice copper axe. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Hey -ya. Boom. Not bad, man. Do 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 do. Well, that's a pretty good axe, my man. All right, let's make some benches, y'all. After I cut some planks. And take some more sticks.
butt ton of plums. Do plums do something to your insides? Because I'm worried that I just ate a whole bunch of them. Eh, say la vie. Boom. Still got that deadly nightshade with an absolute major chance that I'm going to kill myself accidentally with them. <clears throat> Benches. Oh, yes. Oh, I kicked her off and she's like, nah, man. Give me three logs worth. Six plank. Wah. All right, let's see here. Furniture. Seats. Log stool. Ah. I don't think I really want people sitting in front of my house like that. However, in front of the resource bin, sure. No, what? No, what? No. That's dumb. Don't do that. That's dumb. Magic. Furniture. Seats. I guess I'll take a sitting stone. The stool. I'm sure stools are more aesthetically pleasing. Alright, so we'll kind of have a guess right here. And then we can have another. I mean, does that look stupid? It feels like that looks a little stupid. Now let's get a big old log. Campfires. Wooden campfire. Stone campfire. Done. Alright, so we're going to make this place more aesthetically... Aesthetic? Aesthetically? No, not aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically pleasing means that it's good for people that don't want to eat very much. Or do much with gaudiness. Aesthetically pleasing. That's good. I need 12 stones. I need to get back those 12 stone. One, two... Oh god, I had a whole bunch of stone, didn't I? Four. Ooh, five. Six, seven, eight. Ah, ah, ah. Ugh, where's winter when I need it? Nine, ten, it, eleven, twelve. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that joke doesn't get old at all. All right, so I've got those two chairs. I'm going to get myself a nice big fire <clears throat> by chopping up some firewood. Oh. Hey, I am super sorry about day. this. Whoa. That's weird. Eight firewood, okay. Okay. Big old stone campfire right here. Ooh, I love it. Seating. Not tables. Table, not tables. Seats. Log bench. Would you look at that? <clears throat> Gotta talk to Matilda now. Honey, stop your stomping on the chickens. And ch 
She's a witch. It's done. You're right. The settlement looks much, much better now. Annie with the wood, we're working. It's actually kind of titillating. That's... Well, hello, nurse. I was always pretty good with my hands. Well, I'm perfect. Well, are you flirting with me, lady? Watch out. I have a very jealous wife. Protective of her family, remarkably talented, unprecedentedly beautiful. So how do you know each other? I tell her you said hi. So you do know each other. I'll tell her you said hi. Man. Okay, that was that was some fun flirting. That was a thing. That was a thing she said. Oh man, so that should be nicer. And now let's see what can I. I'm gonna put this. I'm just gonna put this deadly nightshade up, guys, because I know I'm gonna do something stupid. We'll put this poison up too, because I know this is what, something dumb I'm gonna do. Firewood, gonna put it up. Log, gonna put it up. Plank, you get the idea, right? Okay. Small wicker basket. All right. That doesn't look half bad, actually. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. I need to get some crops going, that's for dang sure. What do I have that I can plant? Not so much in the way of manure here. Let's talk about buildings. Uh, extraction? Herbless hut, well, woodshed, excavation shed, hunting, fishing hut. Hmm. Farming, farm shed, yeah, barn one, barn two. Windmill. Animal husbandry. I get a pig sty, but I don't have enough people to get pigs ready to go. Goose house. Sheepfold. Apiary. Oh, I want that so badly. Production. Smithy. Sewing hut one. I am almost to production. How do I... Food storage, resource storage. Containers, chest, barrel, sack, bundle, wicker basket. I hear that buzzing. What should I do next? I still got to kill a bunch of things. I still probably need to go talk to Alwyn. He's going to want to go out and get some stuff and things. Well, let's go hunting a little bit. <clears throat> Nothing brings up your hunting like hunting. That's the thing I said. Well, do I have enough stone? I can build some. Uh, I don't have any linen thread, though. Huh. <laughs> Cudgel. I got 87. I got to produce. So wise. Thank you. Thank you, Taco. I say these things because I just, I need you guys to know that I, I know what I'm doing. I am so on the ball. More sticks. For reasons. Strategic sheep purposes. Hmm. That's the thing. There's always something to do because there's always people around here. And... Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting... Why am I hunting deer? Wait a minute. Where's Moose? 
Moose is directly to my right. Let's go get us some moose. Let's bag us some moose. Bambi Burger is good. Oh, you run on. I've got copper arrows that I'm waiting to use on mooses. Meese. Meese. Mooses? Moose? Moose. I don't know. Or maybe even... Dun dun dun. Bandits. Says the moose are over here. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep doing that. It's not what I intend to do. But it's one of those things that just keeps me honest. Moose! There is no squirrel. It's only moose. They, they have bison, but we don't have squirrels here. Okay, this is going to sound stupid, but they have squirrels in England, right? I mean, I know they have chipmunks and stuff. But squirrels, are they in England? Well, there is moose. I do not see squirrel. Please understand. He's nothing personal. What? Die, Moose. God, that just... That makes me feel bad. Uh-oh. Killed me a moose. There we go. Oh, right. Red squirrels. Thanks, guys. Red squirrels. Because, you know, Sword in the Stone or Once in Future King. Duh. Oh, man. You were just... You know you know something, but then again you forget that you know something. That was a big old moose. I like that. Sup, dude? Hmm. Must be coming from Galadorn. And if anybody gets that reference, huzzah. Glad that Tenshi and Taco also forget things that they th they know they know. I forget them all the dang time. Watch as our hero goes out with copper and stone arrows to find bandits to kill them. Or to convince... I don't know. I don't know if religion would bring this game more interesting. You know, just a religion component. Like you could build a chapel or something like that. Because they have very steadfastly ignored religion in this game. That moose thinks it's people. Oh! Oh, right there. That's the thing. Oh, that's a bad thing. Oh, what the hell? How are you fitting on the trees? You f... Jeez, get the flip away from me, you bastard. Piss off! Ha! I'll just, uh... That weren't a moose, man. That was a bison. That was an honest-to-God, pain-in-the-ass bison. Lords Poland were the developers of Medieval Dynasty. We, I am. I'm sharing some of that love online. Render Cube, you guys are awesome. You guys made this game what it is, which is a fantastic simulation where I can get my ass handed to me by a bunch of bison? Oh. 
<sighs> well. <clears throat> I love this game, except for the fact that... Doggy nothing. It's a giant freaking bison bastard thing. I hate you, bison. You know what? Screw that. We're going to hunt bison now. It's about 10.09? Yeah. I got time. Tomorrow we're giving the SAT at the school. SAT is wonderfully prepared for everything. Like, <clears throat> it gives you step-by-step -step instructions to do exactly what you need to do. And as long as you've gotten a, a, a countdown timer that you know how to use, it's going to be easy. It's easy peasy. But real quick tangent, this is like the third... You skull by some doggies. Oh, okay. Um, this is the third test my students have taken just in my class alone in the past week. And that's not the only test they've taken all around. These kids have been over-tested so much. It's so bad. Just call bison doggies. Alright. I also gotta hunt a bear, so... You know, six of one, half dozen of the other. I just got my ass handed to me. Handed to me by a bison who was extraordinarily quick and could fit through all the trees, I noticed. I tried to cut through trees. If a bison gets to you, man... Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Um. I'm trying not to do this. I think I'm just talking too much. I put kind of chatty as one of the descriptors on this stream, and that's a straight up lie. I am not a quiet person. Okay. Top of the world, Ma. Top of the world. Probably there's good crap up here, but... That was the old me that didn't get killed by a bison. Stupid-ass bison. It's just, it hits you so hard, and it keeps hitting you. Oh, there's that tension headache again. <laughs> and she made friends with a chipmunk she named Popcorn at Yellowstone National Park. I have never been to Yellowstone National Park, but I bet it was gorgeous. <laughs> Not the chipmunk. I don't know if the chipmunk was pretty. I don't really judge chipmunks anymore. All right, now I am aimlessly wandering, which in a game that requires you to eat and drink and sleep and not get killed by bandits or bison, the bastards. I hate bison. Hmm. Peasant powers activate. Bow of omens give me sight beyond sight. Oh, look. Plants. How is this getting me production? I don't know. But now I have literally wandered to the ends of the earth. It feels like. I don't care about you, Lynx. You're not a bison.
Quit yelling at me. Freaking whatever you guys are. I promise I won't make you guys walk all the way back to the settlement with me. I'll get there before I start streaming again. Alright. Bye, Taco. Bye, Tenji. See you guys after. Let's do this. Stupid bison. I think I'm going to play, like, next time I do this one, I'll go for another run. I'm going to do some kind of challenge with it. What kind of challenges you could do with Medieval Dynasty? If you can think of any, you know, one any challenges would be pretty cool to see in a Medieval Dynasty game, please drop a comment and tell me because I would like to try it. Or if you've heard of them, I would love to try it. Maybe it's like a only one house build or <clears throat> uh, like a loot only. Of course, it feels like Loot only would be pretty easy in this one. It's just... Or like wandering adventure kind of stuff. Or whatever. We all come up with one. I don't know, but if you've got an idea, tell me. I'd like to try it out. I love adding challenges to my games. Um, in Conan Exiles, I do a One Life Hardcore mode. Um, Character-driven one. Like, I'm playing a Darfari right now. So I can only use Darfari weapons or stone weapons. And I have to... Try to maintain as much of a Darfari lifestyle as possible. I don't want deer. I want big old bison. That's how we're going to wrap this bad boy up. We're going to find ourselves a bison. Of course, I lost my moose. It's a stupid ass bison. I hate you, bison. I hate you so much, bison. Bastard bison. All right, bison. You're a smart mother. Mm. Oh! That was... anticlimactic. I guess that's what happens when you shoot him straight in the head. This game is very good about giving you extra damage for shooting things in the head. Well. Graciousness. Still nothing. No cool crap. Also copper weapons. Glad I switched to those. Why glad I called that guy. Well, where the hell are we? Took care of that friggin' wisent, though. Interested in killing you, dear. Now I got a moose. Well, that wisent was. I'm about to beat the crap out of me, to be honest. Let's get some broadleaf plantains. And I'm good. I got 25 flipping meat, man. Well, <clears throat> as exciting as that was, and it was just slam bang exciting, 
That's a why isn't down. We got some stuff moving. We got some furniture down. Hello? What is all with this then? Oh, it's a deer. Oh, fox. It's a fox. Awesome. Well, I'm just going to wander about a little bit right here. But I want to say thank you guys for joining me. We finished the wife's quest. And really, that's the important thing this season. Finished the wife's quest. Get some furniture. Made some money. Did some fun stuff. Fought some bandits. These are the onion bandits. The horrible vegetable dairy bandit battles continue in this world. And it looks like I'm becoming more of a murderer than I thought. I killed my first wizened, which was not as difficult as previously advertised. Now I'm just walking amongst the random places to see. I'm almost a Hornica. There we go. Back to Hornica again, where I knew I was always going to come back to. Well, I appreciate you coming on this journey with me. Thank you so much. I'm Asher Gamer. I appreciate what you're doing. If you enjoyed my time on, if you enjoyed watching me on Twitch, then uh, by all means, follow and stick around. I do this kind of stuff a lot, more frequent, more regularly when I get closer to, uh, you know, like the summer and such. But other than that, uh, I got a YouTube channel. I'm working on a Bannerlord series and a and a Medieval Dynasty series, which you are now watching. But uh, other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Ooh, she's impressive. Blanca? Oh. Hold on real quick. People. I got my wife. I got... I need... Hello. Blanca? Great, see you there. I think I'm going to take Blanca. Blanca, you need to be in a house. You need to be in a house with... Alright, Blanca, you move there. She's got hella skills, man. Excavation shed? She could do that. Water carrier? Lumberjack? It's one out of one, so... Miner! Miners, not miners. Alright, sorry. You're probably like, you, you know you were talking, right, Asher? And the answer is, yeah, 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 yeah no problem. Stone, ten. Give me a bunch of clay, limestone, and straw. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. Anyway. Got Blanca. She's awesome. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Thank you for hanging, helping me, especially when I got killed by a wizen. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. To quote SNES Drunk. But uh, other than that, thank you so much. Uh, I'll be around later on with another Bannerlord. And then another Medieval Dynasty. And then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful time with your rest of your week. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.